Hi there, this is Bill, and I've got a recent problem where I've been trying to put a hatched area, such as this one here, on top of a foundation plan. This is the foundation plan there. Here's my floor plan. So as you can see, there's, there's a bathroom here, and I want to put, say that's a tiled area, uh, on the foundation plan to say, things like don't put any saw cuts here and if you do bad boy and over here this is the, I've already done this one after much mucking around and now I'm going to do that one there just as a demonstration I'll have to do this one over here as well at some stage but if I go to my 3d view with no roof uh, I'm actually looking from underneath might be interested in this system of doing this. This is what they call a rib raft uh, foundation. And essentially what I did was drew, drew a floor and drew a whole lot of holes in it. Um, and each one of these holes is 1100 by 1100. So we're back to our foundation plan. There's our little holes drawn in there. They are insulation pods. So the first thing that I really struggle with was uh, if I go up to here to annotate a filled region I try I tried to drew draw one of these um, and I couldn't see it so in the end I had to go reveal hidden elements and then click on the one that was hidden and say hey unhide this in the view I still even now I don't know what that is because it it's Auto, not AutoCAD, Revit is telling me that that's a filled region. Okay, so, and you'd think that if you went into the view, graphics overrides, there'd be a thing here and under annotation categories called filled region. But, as usual, there isn't one. So, there's, there's some illogicality, as far as I'm concerned, that's illogical. I can't, I can't imagine why it doesn't. Generic an annotations, well, okay, well, they're all ticked. So, why wouldn't it show up? Anyway, that's the easy way to do it. So, I got that managing to appear. So now, this foundation plan, see, I've got it down here at hidden line, well, wireframe, if I had it hidden line, it would it would still, you know, it's gonna, the full region's going to plaster over the top of it and, and spoil it. So, essentially, I'm setting it on wireframe now because you can see all the pods underneath. So, what I now need is the walls to show up so I can trace around the whole thing. So, you think, well, hang on a minute, I've just gone through hell on earth to get this so that it's nicely not showing the walls how do I get it to show the walls temporarily and then uh, like a layer system turn that layer on and then turn it off so well I'm making this view range system here work slightly a little bit like that so if I make that the top is a thousand and make that 500 okay then I should, in theory, I've got wireframe. I should be getting. Uh, I should be getting walls. So where are my walls? Okay. Um, obvious answer is to go and have a look at my visibility graphics overrides, and charge down to walls. And sure enough, they're not ticked. Okay. So there you go. Now we've got our walls, we can do a detailed filled region. So we're using the annotate tab at the top, filled region, and you just, you can do it many ways. You can uh, use this to pick your lines for you, but then it becomes a, a drama as to which one it's going to pick, and you have to tab your way through things. So I find sometimes it's just easier to, and there's another thing, why won't that light up at the end of that? It lights up there and over to 
Yeah. See, well, why won't it light up? It should. It should go to the end of end point of that. So I don't know how accurate that is. It looks pretty accurate. So sometimes things light up, and sometimes they don't. So this is dear old. Somebody said, "Rivet just does what it likes, and uh, you just have to go with the flow." So I've done my full region, which at the moment is diagonal and up. Well, I don't want diagonal and up. I wanted uh, something slightly different to that. So what's diagonal and up? Oh, okay. Let me change it. Oh, here it's cross hatch three mil drafting. Okay, fine. So we go okay on that, and there we are. We've got our little area that's saying that this is going to be tile a tiled area. And then, of course, to get back back to your old system where you didn't have the walls showing in the foundation plan, you just go back to your view range and make that minus 150 and make that zero zero should get it should do it yes it does so there's my little region that i want to have a little thing saying stuff so i hope this is of some use to you so you're thinking like an autocad person in layers and when you don't have your layers, you're stuck. And the other thing about this is, I'm not, I'm not sure where that's, what, what level that's appearing at. Because there's no, nothing in Revit that I know of that tells me what, what, what plane that I'm working on. Except this one here, show. So that one shows you in the active view. Well, it doesn't, it's not showing anything. And if I go back to um, my work with no roof, and I go show, we still don't see it. So what what work plan am I drawing on? I have no idea. But I suppose the answer is, who cares? It's 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 showing what we want it to show, and maybe one one day we'll find out. Thanks for watching.